so you can make things uh, kind of do some interesting things uh, that you couldn't do with a, just a regular effect, for example. So you can do some pretty darn custom things. Uh, and in this particular example, I used a custom path to basically just kind of follow the animation uh, of a text sequence. And um, I'm still kind of fine-tuning how this works because one thing you'll notice, well, let's just try one real quick. Let's do a new slide. And I'll insert a text box. And we'll just type hello. We'll make it nice and big. And give it some kind of handwriting looking thing. How about Kelvin? So, make this even a little bigger. At that point, all I really did, I'll just uh, copy my pen tool, get rid of the motion path. So, I start with my pen somewhere. And I'm going to move this over. You'll see why in a second. Start with my pen tool somewhere. Uh, for my text, I want to add an animation. And I think what I'll do, just to kind of keep it simple, is I'm going to do what's called, uh, let's have it appear. Okay. And I want it to appear by letter. Right. So, and we'll make it go a little quicker, so something like 0.3. Okay, so if I play that, hopefully over the webinar you can see that hello is going to come in one letter at a time. H-E-L-L-O. Right? So that's all kind of well and good. Uh, but if I click on my pen then, and I add a custom path, what I'm going to do is start to draw the H and just kind of trace over it just like I'm writing it out. L L O Boom. Okay, then double click to finish that. Now what you'll notice is that Boy, it would be nice if it would just trace right over where I wrote. But the pen is elongated. So it's going to actually start the motion path uh, like in the center of the pen. So what I have to do is kind of move and maybe even move the text box. And then when I play it, you'll see that it's going to be closer. Um, I want these to, I want the drawing to happen simultaneously with the uh, building of the text, right? So I need to change this to with previous. And then, like I say, the amount of time it takes the pen to get down to the H, I might need to add a little bit of a delay. And I just kind of play around with this. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Uh, so I'll just play that. Oops, takes a little too long. Uh, so I'll drop that down. But it actually ends up being uh, pretty close. And it's kind of an interesting little effect. Easy peasy. Uh, now where you might get a pen like this, I was actually looking for some today because I was playing around with this. I went to graphicriver.net. And gosh, they have all kinds of fun stuff here. I just searched for pencil. And let's see here. So here's some that might be interesting uh, for two bucks. You know, nice variety there. Uh, maybe something like these. Or gosh, that looks even more fun. There you go. <laughs> oh, I see it's a little you build your own pen, all kinds of funny faces and stuff.